Dr. Mayotte, I'd like to know what is your opinion on the state of alternative transportation, the opportunities, and how that relates to, uh, to your community. Okay, well, sorry, here we are in the 21st century. I grew up in the 20th century, and yet we're using 19th century methods of servicing people with disabilities. We have a paratransit system, but it does not adequately serve the people like baby boomers, seniors, and others who do have disabilities. Uh, it doesn't even service the youth. Only a limited amount of funds go into the paratransit, yet it's a federal mandate. Uh, there are so many opportunities out there because we have a lot of people with respiratory issues, high asthma rates. We have people who need transportation to get to health care, shopping, which would stimulate the local economy for many businesses. But yet the pricing is, is so out of whack and it's not great. We're still dependent on fossil fuels here in the 21st century when we have solar power, we have electric, uh, we have nanotechnology now. The thing about using solar-powered vehicles is that not only are they safer, but when you use nanofabrication, they can be lighter. The lighter a vehicle, the less impact in terms of an accident. So you may have seniors and people who are disabled who used to drive and stop because they can't drive these big bulky cars. Some of them are allergic to diesel fuels. But we have manufacturers out there who actually are making these cars and some of the pricing is out of whack, so a lot of the people who are disabled cannot buy them. But together as a group, Improve is looking at doing dealerships and buying these vehicles for ourselves to provide transportation for our communities, not here in Illinois, but all over the planet.